That's the after. This is the before. Look at that. Shine. Okay, this is our collection right now. So what we're gonna do now is to clean the blades, to oil them. Let's get some oil. 4-in-1 oil. I'm gonna use 4-in-1 oil to oil the blades. And I'm using Flitz metal polish to polish the brass parts and break free CLP to uh, oil the joints, the pivots. It's a lubricant preservative. And I'm gonna touch up some blades with this one, the DMT, the diamond sharpener. All these are available at Forged PH. This is available at Forged. And now we do the cleaning and the lubing. Actually, they don't need much cleaning because I don't take them out. Really. Just a maintenance and the. Uh, Stress reliever. Shake the flits. Put some on the rag. Just put them some here. What I can say with this flits polish is when you use it. makes it really shiny actually all metal polish can do that but with this one the flitz metal polish does not have as the packaging says the flitz metal polish does not have abrasive material it's just chemicals stripping off the oxidation from the brass or whatever material that you're cleaning Okay, let's leave it there first. The flit set comes with all of these. The cleaning rag, the flitz polish, the CLP, and the diamond sharpener. It's all in one package. And here, and it's also called the knife restoration kit. And I've been using this for a long time. Maybe a year. I'm trying not to uh, polish this one. This is the 20 year old. My personal balisong from the from 20 years ago. I'll try not to polish this one. I will not polish that one. But I'm gonna lube it and oil it. This one I can, I can polish. But it's stainless anyway. The 19 cm from Ona is what I carry most of the time. It's small, it's light, and it's easily pocketable. Conversation piece. It's a conversation starter. What's that? It's a balisong. Uh, where's that from? It's from Batangas, Taal. I am Batangenio, actually. This one, let's polish it again. What's good about this uh, flitz polish is that you can polish other stuff. It easily takes off the oxidation from the brass parts. Look at this. Easy to clean it on the blade. Look how easy it is to polish. I clean this one side and then show you the other side to compare. Buff it up. Oh wow. Look at that. Even the horse bone got shiny. So easy. That's the after. This is the before. See? Look at that. Before. And after. Oh wow! That's dramatic. Before. And after. Oh wow. Maybe I'll just clean one side. So it's more, even more dramatic. Of course, you can do this with other polishes. But this one is just so convenient and easy to use. Let's polish this up. Oh wow, look at that. That's the after. This is the before. Look at that. Shine. 
oxidation is gone and it's polished and clean and even the look at this even the copper pins is this copper or brass pins maybe it's copper it's got so shiny it's blended into the brass it's amazing let's see what it does to aluminum I'm not gonna clean this one up so much because I want it to have that old blade vibe. And oil it later. I guess you're wondering why I didn't clean this one because it's because I wanted it to retain the old look. I don't want a shiny uh, brass bolsters like this I wanted to retain the old look I wanted to remind me that this one is the first balisong that I bought uh, back in college and it's still sturdy as heck it's one heavy piece and I'm just gonna oil it and just to uh, use it I've actually carried this but it's kind of heavy so Okay, I'm going to polish uh, the other ones before I oil it and store it. Oh wow, look at that. For the wood, I'm going to use something different later. I will be using orange oil. Just going to clean up first the brass parts. Oh wow. I'm sorry for the so much wowing. But I'm just really amazed with this system. What's nice about about using a microfiber cloth is because it has some fur kind of stuff. It wraps around the thing that you're wiping. Unlike if you're using ordinary cloth, it's just flat on the surface. Okay? Polishing done. Now it's time to oil these guys. First, let's put a CLP on the pivots so that it slides more quickly. There you go. Anyway, the CLP will protect and lubricate the joints. If you don't have CLP, of course you can use ordinary oil. They're shiny. This is one tricky balisong, something that I do not personally want to flip because it's double-edged and I do not know how to flip double-edged balisong without cutting my fingers off. This one is really loose so it doesn't need actually to lube but hey, we're here. Everyone deserves equal attention. Precision LP break free. Now it is time to oil the blades. These two are my favorite ones. The Ona and the old one, the 20 year old. I don't know what to call this one. The 20 year old Balisong. Both Labaha style. I like Labaha style because uh, it's uh, kind of uh, subdued. Not really a threatening uh, design. Not as threatening as this one, a pointy one. It's kind of a general purpose and uh, more, let's say, more pedestrian. Okay, oil the blades, uh, oiling on the cloth, uh, brisk wiping, just to protect it from further rusting. 
Maybe we can buff. Oh, okay. There we go. It's not really coming off, but it's getting less. It's patina. Or so they say. I want to keep the patina of almost 16 years of being stored and I'm using it once in a while because it's kind of heavy this one I do not use at all I just keep it in the box because it's a gift I don't want to lose it and it's a vintage piece this one I won't be using it uh, it's a conversation piece I don't want to take it out because it's long it's hard to I don't know I don't know I just don't want to take it out I just keep this one and keep it shiny and keep it sharp this one also I'm gonna keep it in the box because it's a gift from an in-law which has those in-laws have already passed away so it's gonna be an heirloom we are done putting oil and lubricating the blades now we are going to put oil on the wood 24 I'm going to use this an orange oil polish uh, it penetrates and replaces your woods natural oils okay this is what um, the furniture uh, guys use furniture collectors or the furniture makers this is what they use to polish their wood so I'm gonna use it on wood okay so this is the uh, unstained uh, unoiled wood so let's put some oil on it the oil just penetrates the wood and makes the grain pop out that's the after this is the before see before after the oil really uh, highlights the grain of the wood after before before after okay let's oil this on the other side There you go. So now we've polished everything. The last step, my last step usually, is since there are lots of orange oil left on the rag, I just rub everything on the other blades so that it's kind of coated with some th uh, thin coating of oil so that. It will oxidize less the brass will oxidize less but sooner or later it's gonna oxidize and it leaves an orangey scent on the blades okay that's it then Oh, I didn't use this anyway maybe I'll just use this on this one the 20 palisong because the other ones are don't need touch-ups actually just want to show you how I use this Okay, maybe it did the trick. Let's see. It cuts better. Thanks, DMT. Thank you for watching Pinoy Blade Hunter. Until next video.
Bye-bye.